isn't going to be very easy, but I was just after all alone in the world and I got so scared because all I could think about was how I had no place in this world and then just out of nowhere I realized that there was one place in this world that I did have and that was with you. So I flew and I took a taxi to get to you and I, I just had to see you. Thank God you're... I'm so sorry. This is the house I'm... I'm so sorry, Liz. Does Daniel Harding live here? I'm looking for Daniel Harding. You're looking for... Looking for Daniel Harding. Yeah, he lives here, I thought, but... Oh, he doesn't live here, does he? I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Who is this woman and what is she doing here? <laughs> I just honestly thought he'd be here. I always thought he'd be here. Always. Do you know him? Big guy, big tall guy, strong. Played basketball, all these sort of names, I'm sure. Strong. Do you know him? He played hockey too. Well, that's a matter oh, of Oh, don't even answer that. I know. Somebody who lives in a small town. As if everybody in a small town is everybody else. I can't believe I asked that. I don't live here anymore, but when I did, I hated when people assumed I knew everybody else just because the town was small. It was worse when we asked if they had a friend who lived there. Because, you know, people in big towns really don't know each other any better than people in small towns do. You know who you know, and you don't know who you don't know. Just like anywhere else. to have bothered you. I was just so sure, and when his parents passed away, he took the house. I heard he lived here. He stayed here. I thought he was one of the ones who stayed. I didn't stay. I went away. Yeah, and I guess he did too. I never thought he would. Guess you gotta hold on to people or you're gonna lose them. Wish there was just something you could keep them in for when you need them. But <laughs> here it is. Found him. Boy, it's cold. I forgot. Yeah. I just, I took a test. From here to Bangor to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. Yeah. Place is a little further from Bangor than I remember. Why'd you do that? Because I could only fly as close as Bangor and I need to get to him as soon as possible. Why? Because I want to answer a question he asked me. The last time I saw him, he asked me very important question. I didn't answer it. And I know now it's not a very nice thing to do to a person. You're being a little hard on yourself. He asked me to marry him. And you? Didn't answer him. No. Yeah, that's why I'm here. To answer him. I mean, I didn't answer him at the time because I didn't have an answer. I was going off to college in the morning, and then the night before I go off and do what I hope and dream, he asked me, will you marry me? I mean, come on, what was I supposed to do? I don't know. I told him I had to think about it. I told him I would think about it, and then I'd be back with an answer before the sun came up, and then I left. I left him standing right there. Where you're standing. And then I didn't make it back before the sun came up. Or at all. That sounds like an answer to me. No! That wasn't my answer. I just went over to the world and that's not an answer. I think. What? I think he thought I'd say yes. Well. 
The guy's not going to ask the girl that question unless he thinks she's going to say I yes. I know. I'm afraid he probably waited up all night hoping for me to come by. And I just want to tell him that I know now that you can't just not answer a question like the one he asked me. You can't do that to a person, especially to somebody you love. We were kids. Yes. I did. I do. I think I dashed to hope for you. Oh, come on. You give yourself too much credit. He was young. That's all you need to get your hopes dashed. Be young. And everyone starts out young, so everyone gets their hopes dashed. And besides, I don't think you really dashed his hopes. Because if you dash someone's hopes, well, that's kind of a nice way of letting them down. And it hurts. But it's quick. If you would have said no, that would have been dashing his hopes. But you didn't say no. You said nothing. You just didn't answer him. At all. And that's killing hope. The long slow, painful way, because it's still there, it never really goes away. And that's kind of like giving someone a little less air to breathe out every day when they die. you'd be here to answer my question before the sun came up. And she's a pro. The sun's not even close to being up yet. It only went down a few hours ago. Look how early you are. That's good of you. So, a taxi. All the way from Banger? Yeah. To tell me. Honey? Dan? Honey, who's there? Suzette, just, just someone needs directions. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Hi. What? I hope you find it, Hope. Your place in the world.